I'm Stragessa, singer from the Akuldum band called Devil's Seed. Uh, unfortunately, due to the current situation with social distancing, we are not able to make a full band interview. So me and our drummer, Ashadai, will answer a couple of questions today. So Devil's Seed was founded in 2017 by me and guitarist Reverend Hopkins and we took the band's name from a song we really like, made by a band uh, that influenced our music uh, heavily, and that song is Devil Seed by Candlemas. Before our first album, we had two demos, singles, <laughs> Firecult and Heinrich Kramer, and uh, our first full-length album was released uh, in February, with no title. First it was a digital release only, but it's also available in, uh, in physical since more than a week now. Uh, we are Hungarians, we are from Budapest, uh, the capital of Hungary, and the uh, members are guitarist Reverend Hopkins, drummer Ashadai, keyboardist Father Black, singer Stragessa, <laughs> And uh, our latest member is bassist Akafalos, who joined us this year uh, in January. Well, I spend a lot of time at home. I really miss the concerts or meeting with family members and friends in person and playing music with the guys from the band. I mean, all these changes in, in the life we usually live are quite hard to get used to. But for now, somehow I did. Uh, I'm trying to spend my time in quarantine usefully with uh, learning new things. And I also have more time for those calm type of activities like reading those books I planned since a while. And um, besides that, we are not able to meet in person with the rest of the band. We are sharing our new ideas about new songs with each other. So the creative processes can go on. And uh, yeah, I'm writing lyrics and I know all this pandemic is very bad and very unfortunate but uh, actually for me it's like a booster for my creativity I guess it's because I write uh, do metal lyrics hi guys hi everyone this is El Shaddai from Devil Seed and uh, I was asked about the like the COVID-19 situation in Hungary and especially in Budapest and about my personal opinion as well. Uh, I think I can tell the situation in Budapest is, is not that bad because I think we we made uh, the necessary steps in just in time. So, and I'm, I'm not talking about all the legal steps our government made. I'm talking about only the, the, the health. Um, the health issues and matters. Um, so I can tell it's it, it, the situation in general is not that bad. Um, not for everyone, of course, because as you may know, everything was closed and they closed everything and everything shut down because of the virus situation and the crisis. So it's quite difficult for uh, almost all the bands to rehearse and not talking about concerts and live shows of course because it's like um, it's nonsense um, but uh, we are kind of lucky as you can see we have our room to rehearse and um, working on the on the next album so we're in we're in kind of good situation right now but it's it's not general so it's it's kind of hard for the bands this time <laughs> Yeah, about the first album. Yeah, we're pretty happy about it. Um, I'm also very proud of it. It uh, 
came out on the 13th of February, uh, which was the 15th anniversary of the first uh, album of Black Sabbath. But uh, we didn't mean to do this, so it was, <laughs> it was not our choice. Um, this, I mean, the, the date. Uh, I'm pretty um, happy with the album. I like the songs, almost all of them. Yeah, all of them. My favorite might be, it's hard to tell, I like all of them, but maybe Doomsday Riders. Um, but uh, I have to also tell that we made some um, compromises uh, during the, the process and the recording of the album that we don't want to make again. So we're working on the next album and, uh, you know, um, we, 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 we are hoping that we can, we can start recording as soon as possible and all this COVID-19 situation goes. Um, oh yeah. A few weeks ago, some of my friends were joking about how some of our lyrics fit the current unfortunate situation perfectly. Like, the first rider in Doomsday Riders is called Pestilence. There's a growing disease in Plague Rose. There is a motionless mood in Hanged Man and a lot of depressive vibes in Dead Well. All in all, it sounds like a, a soundtrack for 2020 so far. And all I can say is that, sorry guys, it was not intentional. Uh, I've read the lyrics and I get inspirations from various places like books or movies or topics that interest me or a random bonfire in the woods I saw. Yeah, that's where Fire Cult came from. In general, I write the lyrics with a dark tone and mystic atmosphere, but every song has its own little story to tell, but the determinative themes are occultism, witchcraft, horror, obviously, uh, death, and black magic. So, pretty doom, yeah. The language of our lyrics is English, but it's not inconceivable that in the future we will write a few songs with Hungarian lyrics, at least I would really like because besides I love the richness of my native language, Hungarian is sometimes referred to as the devil's language and I mean what could be more authentic than this? The cover art is made by Armin Mandel, a very talented Hungarian artist. He designed the logo as well and uh, he made every song's own illustration, which is included in the lyric book cover diggy pack. I think that if someone looks at our cover, it feels like it's not like most doom metal bands covers because it's obviously it's dark but a bit more modern it lacks those traditional classic or somehow retro elements and uh, i think this represent devil seed sound quite well because uh, yeah we play epic or traditional like doom metal and we use a lot of classic elements in our music but the vibe of of the music that we play is not like a forest or, or a cemetery at midnight but <laughs> rather like a, an extinct land at a foggy dawn at least uh, we have this feeling when we play and 
we had the same feeling when we saw the cover art for the first time. So we thought that it fits perfectly with our music. It's a tough question. Uh, we're also thinking about it. Um, we don't have a label, a label deal right now um, because we were able to write the album and uh, record the album and uh, basically publish it as well. So this is, th these, these are things you, you can do it on your own by yourself as well. But, um, you know, transfer it to the audience, it's, it's pretty hard. So we are, we, we, we have to make the choice, I think, very soon, if we're going to make a, a label deal. And my opinion on this is, is that, we, that we should. So it's not, um, the decision is not made yet, but I think it's got, of course, advantages and disadvantages as well. Um, if you can have, if you can make a good label deal, then it's going to, it's going to make you more, more advantages, which is cool. It's a bit hard to speak about our upcoming gigs now, since everything's changing pretty fast due to the pandemic. We didn't have a lot of arranged concerts for this year's summer and spring season because our album was released in February and usually that time the big festivals programs are set already. Anyway, the few gigs we plan to play at uh, in the summer uh, are in a pending state now so we are waiting along with the organizers we don't have any cancellation or postponement at the moment but but we see that all the big festivals um, and and concerts are cancelled or postponed so we have to prepare ourselves for for that also i guess we we just have to wait until all this situation will be over and everything will return to the to the normal way of working also we were in the in the middle of organizing our album release show which obviously we had to put on hold so in total all i can say is that we don't really know if uh, if we can play anywhere in the in the near future that's an easy one, obviously, when our beloved uh, keyboard player started to play that well in a wrong key. So we fucked up the whole song. I think, if I remember well, I, we, 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 changed, we changed the key during the song or something like that. It was horrible. It was, it was pretty fucked up. Uh, well, you might not expect this this answer from me, as it's pretty mainstream, we can say, but I don't give a damn. Uh, well, the last album impressed me a lot, a lot, that basically, if I can say, changed my mind a little bit about music, uh, was um, the latest album of Metallica, uh, Hardware to Self-Destruct which I think is a masterpiece. I would like to point out uh, two albums which were released this year. Uh, first, of, uh, first of them is uh, Oresteia by Lotus Steve. It was released in, in January, if I remember correctly. I loved uh, its uh, ethereal while at the same time so sinister sounding. It was uh, a bit, uh, it felt like it's chaotic and it's far from uh, easy to listen album, but at the same time it was so well composed. So I had the, had the feeling while I was listening to it that 
it's uh, like a, a beautiful chaos. It was uh, very inspiring to, to listen to their album. And um, the second release uh, actually came out just a few days ago. It's uh, City Burials by Catatonia. And uh, I always was a big Catatonia fan and I waited this release pretty much. I really like how they can still be so authentic after so many albums and, and so many years that uh, while uh, they, they can save that, uh, that unique sounding which characterizes them so much, their music can still show something new so they can reinvent themselves and uh, yeah, I always, always love that. When you hear the first few notes, uh, you you can say that yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a Catatonia song. So it's it's fantastic. I think it has a perfect mood, uh, very good atmosphere, very good sounding, and yeah, it's a ten point out of ten for me. Survive. COVID-19 and keep going on, keep on playing metal music, doom metal music and uh, start recording the next album. See you!